talk to us a bit about where you were born, what it was like um, growing up being raised by Ghanaian parents in the Netherlands. Tell us a little bit about that. So I'm from Amsterdam. Okay. Amsterdam. Uh, That's where you were born? Born, yeah, okay. born in Amsterdam. Amsterdam Southeast, the Belmer, it's called. Okay. Um, you have a lot of uh, Ghanaian people there. So for us, it was like always, you always had like our little community. Mm. But Amsterdam is, uh, has been my place uh, since I was a, a baby. So uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, what part of the culture of Amsterdam led you into your current profession? Because when I speak to other footballers, mm. I mean, in Ghana, if you speak to a footballer, their career basically starts from playing in the back streets yeah, yeah. and then somebody picks them up yeah. and then gives them a shot. W what was your story like? So, like, uh, me and my big brother and my little brother, we always played on the streets. But my big brother was already playing for a, a local team called Seburgia in, in Amsterdam. Okay. So when I was four years old, I joined... I joined uh, four? Yeah, four years old. I joined uh, what? Seburgia as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely speak at four. <laughs> Very early. I could kick a ball, so it was enough. But, um, yeah, so when I was four years old, I played at Seburgia. And then um, when I was seven, I went to Ajax. How much do you remember about playing football at age four? What's that even like? I remember, I only remember the first time when I had to go for a trial okay. at that club. And I was uh, very, very nervous. And it was with one guy who went, we went to the same uh, mm -hmm. school. Okay. So that's the, that's the thing I will never forget.